Spellbound is a new Netflix animated film from Skydance Animation. Is this a magical film or does it fail to live up to its hype? Hey everybody, my name is Justin. All I do here is watch movies and TV shows on streaming services and in theaters. When a powerful spell turns her parents into giant monsters, a teenage princess must journey into the wild to reverse the curse before it's too late. I was looking forward to Spellbound, seeing if uh, Skydance Animation could have a rebound after Luck. I thought the movie Luck on Apple TV Plus just was all right. It wasn't anything magical. And you have John Lasseter working with Skydance Animation and Vicky Jensen, who was one of the two directors for Shrek, is directing this movie. And while I think that Spellbound is not the best animated film of this year, I was quite surprised with this movie, mostly in regards to the story and the deep themes throughout that many children could relate to. Yes, it is a magical film filled with monsters and spells and creatures throughout, but as the film does progress, there are storylines that will really amaze you and will have a lot of kids in certain situations with their parents that they could see themselves in these storylines and it becomes quite emotional. Rachel Zegler plays this princess in the beginning of the film. It tells us that her parents were turned into these monsters. Her parents are voiced by Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem, but they don't talk. And so she's put in this, this situation where she needs her parents. She wants to communicate with them, but they they can't. And so it, it almost feels like her parents are absent. And so she's alone and it's really hard for her to navigate all of that. And so she's itching at the bit to try to find this spell that could turn her parents back to humans. And so that propels the story of her desire to have her parents back and her in this situation, it's hard for her. She's upset throughout this film. She wants her parents there. And that's a strong aspect of the film. And once you understand the parent situation and this princess, that is where it's real. That's where it hits very hard. I don't want to spoil so much of what the storyline actually is because I didn't see it coming and I thought it was a big surprise and one of the, the best aspects of this film. But just let me tell you that the storyline feels very realistic and personal despite that magical feel to this movie. And so many kids could watch this movie and see themselves in the storyline. The voice acting is really good in here. Rachel Zegler is able to understand the emotions behind this young princess and her desires to get her parents back. I like Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem. Once we get the voices to these monsters, the, the back and forth between the two and uh, some of the, the nonsense in the beginning as they're trying to find their voice is fun. Nathan Lane, I love him. I think he's fabulous. And here he just works alongside everybody. It's got a lot of quirky moments with some upbeat characters and a fun, quick adventure to it that only builds with more emotion and a deeper story. It's got a music, it's got musical moments throughout. The songs aren't totally catchy, but they develop the storyline and add to uh, what the characters are going through. We can use that as an expression to how the characters are feeling about their parents that are now monsters. So we use the so with through the use of song and the, this musical film, we could understand everybody's feelings real quick. If you are interested in seeing Spellbound, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have seen the film, Comment down below with your thoughts on the film. How does it compare to luck for you? If you're interested in seeing more exclusive content from me, more exclusive movie reviews and ranking videos, consider joining my channel as a member and there you can unlock all new videos from me. My biggest issue with this film is that the animation does feel generic. Yes, it's bright and upbeat. You got a fun adventure with a good story, but today's day and age, animation films, they really challenge technology. When you look at Pixar films or the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse film, there's a lot of movies that start to 
go above and beyond. They start to challenge what we know for animation. And unfortunately, it's got the same animation style as Luck, and I don't think that it is that groundbreaking. The character designs feel generic. The, the character designs feel generic. The world feels just a bit average. I couldn't make this movie, so I think that the animation is great, but I think that it just has this, this generic, familiar feel to it. And, uh, and that's how I felt about Luck. They also had an Apple TV Plus series, Wanla, that also feels the same. The designs, the world, the animation, the colors, I've, I've seen this before, and it's nothing groundbreaking or outstanding. It looks good to me. Like I said, I, I couldn't create it, but when you just have a lot of animated films that start to challenge what we know about animation and try something new and go in above and beyond, Spellbound, Luck, Wanla, Skydance Animation isn't doing that. It's playing itself safe. That's quite disappointing because John Lasseter, who has worked on Pixar films, is involved with this movie and it's not able to have its own style. So luckily, the storyline involving the parents and this princess, the voice acting, the musical numbers in here, the deep themes within the story that feels very realistic and personal that is able to make this a film worth watching despite having the animation that feels incredibly simple i like spellbound i was really impressed with the story once i knew the parents storyline and how it affects their daughter i said wow we're going places that i have not seen many films go and so this film is challenging itself to have a deeper story that uh, is able to use the monsters and the parents feeling absent within here to motivate her daughter, motivate their daughter and develop the storyline as well. So I like Spellbound, the animation, not so much. Everything else I thought was really great, very emotional, brought a tear to my eye. I thought it was uh, a, a nice story that a lot of kids can relate to and see how parents have struggling relationships and they're kind of put in the middle of everything and they feel like it's all on them. It's a really good story and I think it's worth your watch. I'm gonna go ahead and give Spellbound a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for Spellbound, the new Netflix animated film. Have you guys seen it by chance? What'd you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.